NVIDIA just launched their beta version of GeForce Now, their remote cloud gaming service that allows both Macs and PCs to game and play AAA titles at high graphics quality without needing a powerful computer or dedicated graphics. So here we have a 12 inch Retina MacBook. It's designed for web, for email, for video, not for playing games, but with GeForce Now we can log on and play some really great new games at high quality. So let's go ahead and take a look. So here we have the GeForce Now app open and we have a list of games. So this is the beta, so there's a limited amount, but in the future there's gonna be all the major services like Steam, Origin, uh, other services, and you can play most popular games. It's gonna be a wide selection. Today we're gonna to try out Overwatch. And it's very simple. You don't have to actually download the game or install it or deal with updates, anything like that. So it's really fast just to get the app. They launch the game, they keep everything on their server, so you don't really have to worry about anything other than paying for the service and enjoying your game. So within seconds, we're logged in. We have all of our previous save data available from playing on a PC. Since you're still logging into battle.net or Steam or whatever client you're using, I'm gonna go into the options. I'm gonna remove the frame rate cap, so we're gonna see what they offer. Officially, they're just gonna be doing 60 FPS, and you could choose between a 1060, which is kind of a middle of the road graphics card, or a 1080 if you wanna max out all your graphical settings. Here for the beta, they're just maxing out all the options. So we're gonna get the best graphics cards. And interestingly up here, even though they're saying you choose between a 1060 or 1080, it's displaying an NVIDIA Tesla P40, which is a very, very high-end uh, server type graphics cards. And they're basically just using those to you know, do all this uh, graphic processing and then send that over. So let's go ahead and launch into the game. Just a second of dispense itself. The graphics quality looks really good. I'm not seeing any compression artifacts from them sending over the final video signal to our computer. And it's actually very smooth. I don't feel any delay um, between the inputs and what I'm seeing on the screen. So no lag or anything like that. And they actually show uh, at the top left corner, there's some specs here. And they're showing 54 degrees Celsius for the graphics card we're running off of, which, which is really cool. So they have some really good uh, cooling solutions there. Also about 20 milliseconds of additional lag. So um, that's between us sending the data to them, them processing what we're doing and sending it back. So that's very low latency. So obviously gaming on a 12 inch display and a trackpad isn't a great experience. So let's go ahead and kick this up a notch. Unfortunately, the 12-inch Retina MacBook doesn't support a 5K display, so we got a base model 13-inch MacBook Pro, also featuring a dual-core processor and an integrated graphics card, hooked up this gorgeous 5K display, got a keyboard and a mouse for a more typical gaming experience, so let's check this out. I was really surprised by how well GeForce Now works even in its beta form. FPS shooters are really the most demanding to have as little latency as possible, and there was a slight amount noticeable, but for the average user, they're not really gonna be able to tell, and the game runs perfectly fine. Nvidia definitely has an interesting proposition with their GeForce Now cloud gaming service. If you have a computer without powerful hardware, or you don't wanna deal with downloading games, doing updates and storing them, and everything else that comes along with gaming, you could pay them $25 for either 10 or 20 hours of gaming depending on the graphics quality that you want and you can game even on a fanless 12 inch retina macbook with really good results and that includes gaming on a mac which doesn't officially support a majority of games like overwatch that we were playing so it's very impressive it's going to be out in a few months right now if you have a mac you can sign up for the beta and test it out for yourself and they will be offering up to four hours of free gaming once the service launches so you can check it out and see how it handles your internet connection and and how you like it. If you're a serious gamer, you'll probably still want to build a dedicated machine, but if you're somebody like me who likes to play games on occasion and still wants good graphics quality, this could be a very good value. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.